what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. Catch us online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. I usually don't put out like a breaking thing, but this is pretty cool. Uh, well, it could be cool. It could go the other way. There's a pretty big solar storm heading for us right now. And if you are in the United States, you might be in for a treat tonight. Um, let me read this here. This is from AccuWeather Forecast. It's uh, basically the Aurora Borealis is going to be very... Last time they said this was going to happen, it didn't happen. So you never really know if it's going to actually happen or not. But the uh, let me read this for you real quick. This is a, uh, what we're going to do, a what's up in the sky news break or something like that. <laughs> Stargazers could be in for a rare display Friday night as the Earth-directed solar flare ignites the northern lights, also known as the Aurora Borealis in the United States. As a result of the flare's direction and strength, the dazzling light display could reach as far south as Maryland, where we are. Woo! I hope we get, I'm really far south. I'm about a beach, though. Um, in east and down over Nebraska, farther west. According to AccuWeather.com, astronomer Hunter Alton, the flare is ranked as an X-class, or the highest class for a solar flare. Along with the brilliant light displays that may be visible, some in the, ah, some in the northern part of the country, a flare of this magnitude could also have adverse effects on GPS, radio frequencies, and cell phone and satellite reception as well. A CME, or coronal mass ejection, or a cloud-charged particles released from the solar activity. Uh, it's a cloud of particles, you'll see it down here. Um, uh, it's actually right here, is expected to induce a geomagnetic storm in the Earth's atmosphere around midday Friday. Alton said that this CME will be the second of a two-hit punch. Pop, pop! Another had a hit on Earth Thursday. A, geomag a geomagnetic storm will cause the Northern Light Show. So that's how they come. That's what they said. It's uh, very exciting. There will be a pretty good chance to see the Northern Lights Friday because the first geomagnetic storm Thursday night, Alton said. It's a good timing. Um, Alton also said that Northern Lights displays the best viewing will occur around midnight in each respective time zone. So, but they will be start viewing after nightfall. So I guess they're going to be they're going to be looking. So I'm definitely going to be looking this this uh, tonight. Um, pretty cool guys. I got a lot more space news to bring to you, but I just wanted to bring this as a little news breaking news thing here, just in case you didn't get a chance to see it. It's uh, Friday morning right now, early, early. So hopefully I get this up. On, sometimes it takes forever to upload these things. But all right, guys, much love to you. Come check out whatsupinthesky.com. We're doing a lot of good stuff over there. I need you guys to come subscribe, get into the conversation, check out the forums. Uh, we got guys who are posting really good news articles. Benny's over there. Uh, there's just The people are starting to collect. We're getting a lot of uh, users coming in. I think we've got probably 300 or so now, somewhere around there. But um, you know, the forums are starting to take off. We're getting people posting their videos. Uh, you know, I can name all of our Mars buddies. You know them. You know them. You subscribe to them. You love them. So much love, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.